morning and welcome to today. I hope you are having a pleasant day. It's a sunny, warm day after heavy rain. I'm so glad to be here. We thank God for the gift of life. It's a beautiful day. My name is Winnie Kamuya, CEO of International Renaissance Center, an international best-selling author, coach, and a speaker. And today I'm glad to be with you. We are going to speak about small changes that make a big difference. What are small changes that you are doing that you are hoping will make a big difference? Of course, we sometimes assume that the small things that we do will not have an impact on our overall confidence. Self-confidence is one of the things that we need to work on on a day-to-day -day basis. It is not something that will just come and happen to you at once. You have to be on the lookout and as you do small things they will boost your self-confidence let's imagine you're watching a small child who is learning how to walk and as they do and they take their first step they fall you watch them they are almost giving up they're crying they're discouraged but you as you are watching them as a grown-up. You tell them, good, good, come on, come on. Stand up, let's go, let's try again. And they stand up. And they forget they were crying. Or they forget the sadness of having fallen down. And they stand up and they take another step. And they make it, this time without falling. And you say, well done, that is good, that's wonderful. Good boy, good girl. And they feel encouraged. And they try a second step and they bake it. That is how we grow ourselves. That is how we also grow our self-confidence by taking little actions that take or boost our self-confidence so that we can continue to believe in ourselves and in our ability to do certain things. So what would you say if you were to do the same or if you were to face the same same kind of challenge in terms of a task you are given to do at the workplace. Maybe they have said, we need this report by 2 p.m. and now it's, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. You've never done a report. It's your first time you're going to write this report and you have no clue where to start. You have no clue how it will go and whether you will make it. Of course, you are scared and since the boss has told you to prepare the report, you need to show them that you can do something and that you're not afraid. So you are going to face the challenge of where do I start? What do I put in the report? What will be expected? Will I do it correctly to their expectations? And here is your first time, first attempt to do a report. You ask your friend, your colleague, please, I need some assistance. And they say, oh, a report, that's very, very simple. You've never done a report? I mean, this is the simplest thing that you can, uh, you can do. It's an assignment that you could do in less than two hours. And you're wondering, really? It's simple. I've never done one. This, for me, is going to change my life. Or it's going to cost my job. Or... It's going to bring a problem between me and my boss. What will I do? Maybe you have a good colleague and they help you set it up and they give you some hints on where to start or they show you what you need to do for you to start. So if you are up to boost your self-confidence, it's good to start working on small Things that will make a big difference eventually. Supposing you had started doing this report a long time and when your colleague, for example, was doing it, even though you had never been requested to do it, you were watching as they were doing or you helped them do something. Say, for example, you helped them set up the first page, which is the cover page that has the title of the report. And now you have an idea on top, I need to have the title of the report. 
wouldn't that be helpful? It would be. And now that you are going to do this report and you've got hints and help from some of your colleagues, being your first attempt, you do it and you finish. Even though you feel you are not fully satisfied with what you did, you still do it and complete. And your boss is up and grateful that you are able to finish within the time limits that they had given you. And for sure, you are hoping that everything will go right. Okay. The boss says, this is good. You've tried. I'm happy. I know you can do better than this. So I hope next time you'll be able to do something better. So today, while we address the small, small changes for the big difference you hope to look for, imagine that report has been accepted and you have made your first step like the small child. You felt, you felt scared and all emotions were going through you and you thought that you had actually flopped and didn't do well. And apparently you just did the right thing or you did what they were expecting you to do. So it is important for you to know that small steps, small actions can make a difference. And by taking those small uh, steps, you'll be able to boost your confidence. It is important for you to take those small steps because to build to where you want to be, to where you'll be making a good report, it is important for you to remember to be always making some changes and learning more about the reports and for sure with time if you are learning more about creating great reports you will be able to create great reports i know for now you wonder what is my next step now that i did the report and i did at least to the best of my ability the next step you ought to do is now start learning more about that so that next time you have to prepare a report, it will be better than your first report. Remember the small child, he has to keep on walking and doing more steps, that is practicing more steps so that they can become better. And by the time you meet them, in the next few months, the child is walking confidently. It is the same. It is the same. There is no difference. Anytime you want to learn a skill, to get confident about something, you've got to practice it over and over. And remember our brain. Remember our bodies and brain, the way they are meant, they are meant to help us to remember incidences where we did well and where we did wrong. So if we can boost ourselves by ensuring that anytime we do something that went right, then it will help us next time when we are taking action in the same line, we will do it confidently. Glad that you are here today and I know that you will now appreciate the small, the small actions that you take because those small actions shift your mood, shift you into uncomfortable places. And when you shift in a, into uncomfortable places, you learn, you stretch yourself, and you understand what comes from within you or what you have that you have not discovered before. Most of the times we will have these things within us and because we are really uh, very critical of ourselves, we don't appreciate those small changes. I believe that now that you are aware, you will appreciate the small actions, the small changes that you, you take towards your self-confidence. Remember that anytime you feel really like you're losing hope, you feel sad and you feel that you'll not make it, remind yourself, I did the first step, I know I can do it. And if I can do it, I will do it. I believe in you knew, and I know you will stop being harsher to yourself or harsher in judging yourself. And remember, it is within you. Remember that self-destruction 
comes from within first before it comes from without it comes from within when you are so critical of yourself then you will not appreciate the small changes that you are making, the small improvements you are making i'm glad that you now know and i'm glad that you are going to start appreciating the small changes thank you for joining me i hope that with this you will appreciate the small changes i look forward to seeing you it was a pleasure having you thank you for joining me and goodbye for now